Hey everybody, it's Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com, KillerPHP.com, and others. In this video blog, uh, I want to talk about uh, HTML5 and Windows integration. I'm not going to get into details about how that works, but what you should take away is that Windows is now going to be tightly integrated with HTML5, the new Windows 8, 8 which I think looks really, really good actually. Um, so it's yet another reason that you should learn HTML5. You see, what's happening now is Microsoft is really tying HTML5 and JavaScript into the core operating system, the new Windows 8 operating system. So people are going to be able to, be able to develop Windows apps using HTML5 and JavaScript. So what that does is it makes HTML5 and JavaScript much, much more important than it already is. Don't get me wrong, you know, I'm a, I'm a big Mac guy. I use the MacBook Air, which I think is the best computer I've ever, ever made, I've ever used anyway. Uh, but I'm also platform agnostic as I am language agnostic. What do I mean by that? I mean, as a practical nerd, I, uh, I go wherever the technology leads me. And I think with Windows 8 uh, and, and, and the things I'm seeing, and I haven't used it, I've just seen it, played with it a little bit, I think it's something interesting in that, you know, Microsoft's been in the, in the, uh, in the wilderness, if you will, for a long time. But I think uh, with this real smart integration of the Windows 8 platform across all their devices. It's on their phones now, which are really nice, the new Nokia, uh, Lumia, I think they're called, the Lumia 800, 900. Looks really amazing, the tile-based Windows 8 interface. You see it on the Xbox, and now you're gonna see it on Windows 8, and it looks really, really interesting. It's a whole new way of, uh, uh, of sort of viewing an operating system with the whole live tiles thing. If you haven't seen it, you should go take a look at it, some demos, Windows 8 demos online. It's pretty cool because it's a type of operating system that works well for both both the mouse, the mouse and the keyboard, as well as for the touch screens. Um, so back to HTML5 and, and uh, JavaScript, uh, because Windows still by far and away dominates uh, the market in terms of operating systems. Uh, you know, they still own 80% of the desktop. You're looking at, uh, at you know, HTML5 developers and JavaScript coders to become much more valuable because now they can write apps for Windows directly, not just for rich apps in the web browser. As if you guys follow me, you also know that I believe that uh, Flash is, uh, is on its way out because of HTML5 and the rise of JavaScript and jQuery. Well, J jQuery is just a JavaScript library that allows you to do all these neat things that you would t traditionally do with uh, Flash. And there's several advantages of working with HTML5 and JavaScript versus Flash, for instance. So with the whole, uh, the whole Windows 8 uh, integrating uh, everything, doing HTML5 and JavaScript, it's, it's, it's a real big game changer, in my opinion. So I think there's, there's a slow shift going now where I would actually be paying much more attention to uh, Microsoft uh, because of the, H the Windows 8 integration across all their devices. And also, as such, as a result of that, I would be looking much more closely at HTML5 and JavaScript. It's just become more important than it was uh, just a few years ago. Hugely more important, especially since you know that Apple has fully embraced the HTML5 uh, paradigm. I don't know if it's in integrated into their operating systems on the core, but nonetheless, uh, it's something to really look at. So that's it. Um, yeah, I'm wearing a hat because it's kind of cool still up here in Montreal and I'm having a bad hair day. And uh, as you can see, uh, if you watch my videos, the office is a little disheveled here because I'm actually uh, moving uh, from this old Greystone building 
and uh, you know, so I'm just starting to pack up and get things going. So there you go. That's it. Another reason to learn HTML5 and JavaScript and start paying attention to Windows 8. You know, it's it's you know, it's a it looks like a very interesting operating system, and I think that. Uh, we might see a change from the big Apple boom uh, that we've seen for the last five years, which I was behind. So uh, there you go. We'll talk in a video blog very soon.